just broke a string on a steel guitar playing around on it and still had the loop to together again that I performed the steel to. And so I grabbed the G and B bender and just thought it'd be cool to try it and see what would happen. I've run it a couple times and haven't got it one time yet, but what the heck. <laughs> we know the rule. Nobody's ever died from a bad note. At least not yet, anyway. So, turn that down a tiny bit. I just thought it would be interesting to try it to see what it sounded like in conjunction. This B and G bender has a lot of options as a guitar player that are very reminiscent of a steel guitar. You have to get it under your fingers like anything else in the feel. Obviously pulling off my waist and pushing down on, on the uh, sitting down it doesn't it's not your maximum way to do it or, or the best optimum way rather to do it. It can still be done and uh, it's a challenge that I love, I love. Oh, where are we at? Here we go.
Thank you all for listening. I'm having a ball, and I hope you are too. God bless you all.